8.07 p.m. Tuesday, November 29th, 2022, episode number 956 of Oh Yeah Dude. My name is Jonathan. This is Seth. Hello, Seth. Jonathan, just like that. And just like that. 9.56, Oh Yeah Dude. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to just talk about uh, the kind of things that's going on, like in around here. States in, a, in and around in and around these the states states like this. What is that? This is a uh, candy canes. I guess it's Christmas, but they're Twinkies flavored. Could that be real? It could be real. It could also be. You get them at Michaels. Gross. Michaels made by you. I like them. I don't think is it. What so do I get? My Hobby Lobby. You're not supposed to go to. Can't go to Hobby Lobby. But Michael's, I think, is okay. Michael's, you must support. You have to. You have to egg Hobby Lobby. You have to support Michael's. Support them by buying canvases and these Twinkies. Twinkie-flavored candy canes. Hang them on your tree. Support Michael's because it was made by you. That, that's not that good. That was made by me for your... But that's the slogan because it's for people who like to do that. It's for people that like it's to... DIY make, types. They like to make things by themselves. But I guess it doesn't have to be by themselves. No, no, no. But for themselves. For themselves. Or for others. Actually, shit. Shit. But created by... Myself. should say created by... You. Me. Me, me. Meself. Created by me self. Michael's, Michael's created by me self. It's a UK self. company created by myself. Myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I hate to jump from... Well, listen. We're jumping from product to product, but this is a... We live in a consumerist... Society and it's and it's the season. And it's the season. We live in a, as Modana said, a material world. Uh huh. I this is crass, and I I don't know if it was intended. Do the people that make this? Do they intend to it to be crass, or am I just in because in the holiday season I Your I get a little gutter. salty. No pun intended with the Ooh. peanut, Mr. Peanut, Planters Peanuts. Mr. Peanut is coming to town. Coming. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even think of that. Uh, Dirty. And yours could be next. Enter for a chance. Enter. Oh. For a chance to win a visit from Mr. Peanut and the Nutmobile. It'll make your holiday party the absolute nuttiest. Celebrate with the Planters brand and Mr. Peanut for chances to win holiday gifts, find holiday recipe inspiration, Hot and recipe, more. Recipe, yeah. And that's. What did I say? A recipe. Sexual, uh, sexual. Sexual recipes. Sexual. That is planters to all a good nut. I mean, is that my mind? Or are they, what are they doing over there? Is that my mind? Is everybody got it? Is that just the, we got to live in the gutter now, I guess. Coming gutter, to town. Coming to town. A good nut. And to all a good nut. Mr. From the peanut, twisted minds from the of twisted planters. Mr. Larry peanut with his peanut dick in his hand. <laughs> Does he have his peanut dick in his hand? I was just looking. It's a cashew. It's a curvy, curvy cashew. Curvy cashew. <laughs> Mr. Planter and his curvy cashew. You tell me. <laughs> Listen. This is the world we live in now. This is the world we live in. Oh, and these all are the, the hands we're nutting. Oh, and to all the good nutting. Oh, make it a world worth living in. Dun, 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 is that dun, dun, Genesis? Dun. Is that the spitting image video? Was that like the claymation? I don't it was, know. They were puppets. They oh. were rubber puppets. Mm -mm. Vinyl puppets. Vinyl puppets. We don't get many videos like that anymore. Why do you think what that is? What was that show called? Spitting image? I'm yes? not sure. Spitting image. Spitting or spinning? Spitting. Spitting. Are you telling Bill me you guy? don't remember that? I do, but I just try to block it out. That stuff scared me. It scared you? Yeah. Like freaked you out? Yeah. Like gave you nightmares? Yeah. Like the Reagan face? Like yeah. the doll Reagan? Yeah, doll, yeah. Like... all that. That era of popular culture was an era I'd like to forget. I've tried my best to forget about that era you of know, popular culture. You know, I was watching culture. some of that, that we... Pepsi doc thing about the... Kid oh, he wants the to win the fighter, win a fighter jet? Yeah. Is it good? No. You know what it is. What? It's the it's this should have been an hour 
and oh. you binged me for four eps. An hour. It could have been a. It could have been on twenty twenty and been forty four. It's minutes. a. It should. There should be a term for that that you could just. There should be like a Rotten Tomatoes for just that of being like, you know how they do this the NFL YouTube play by plays like the the like condensed games of a game the recaps they should do those with those series somebody should somebody do watch it hyper you, take out three and i could take be, out three interviews you don't so need good. i mean you do it for me personally yeah, like so you like will sit that. there and do it for me but like it's a perfect example of that it's a totally fascinating awesome wacky story that they fucking drag out to where you are like is at it the multiple end of episodes it, or just one long doc Oh no! There, no, it isn't. Four apps, five. So it's apps. the same amount as the Specter documentary. And it could have they been... think that they need the same amount of time, right. To tell the the career of Phil Specter as they do to some fucking geek in the eighties that tried to like over three years, like pseudo sued Pepsi. It doesn't even really ever shake out. So it's like really like, why do they do it? <clears throat> I don't know, but why it would be so cool us? if there was a show that would do like three or four of those an app. Like, remember Just... we used to get those like. I gotta uh, do that, so I've had to take yeah, the get, intellectual like, property. Mini, anyway, like edited. a 2020, but something like, but but that kind of edited, that type of edit out the bullshit. Anyway, so good. What good was doctor. I saying though? You were saying you were watching where I was talking about that era of popular culture. Oh, and, and they were showing when they. And, I mean, I'm not gonna feel bad about spoilers. The at one point they start looking into Pepsi's past and they uh -oh. uncover uh, a, a a bad botched contest thing that went down in uh like thailand and, and oh the boy. philippines oh and boy. shit so anyway one in the one of the the one in the philippines i just remember um they showed a clip of a max headroom type commercial that was made there then the, to like, like look like to but it was made in the philippines and it was like a philip you know, like Max, uh, Headroom. Max Headroom, but like they didn't wow. have this, the little shitty special effects that he, that we had. So it's them like trying to do it. And the music, it was, it, it almost Ooh. made the whole thing worth it to see just this little like crazy clip. little like. And so they made a five part documentary just on the on creation that gentleman. of Tagalog speaking. That Tagalog Max Headroom. <laughs> wow. Tagalog Max six, Headroom. Six hours, huh? Yeah. Four or yep, five yep, hours yep, 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 is yep. a lot. They tracked down everybody that ever saw it. They it's, interviewed them. It's sort of. It's it's a that's bit, what we got to do. So I take the intellectual property, boil, I watch it in its the full, boil and I boil it down to its essence. Romatelli boil down the essence. No, the boil downs. The boil downs. The boil down episode. Hashtag the, the essence. boil down sessions, this, aka this, the yes, this, this, this. Uh, the Romatelli edits. Essence. So I want to get essence in. Fixing the classics. Fixing <laughs> the classics. That's what you should do. I could. You mean watch Do classic great films, films and they'll care, don't pair their scene. stone. You didn't need this. Pair scene. that. Pair that bad boy down to a forty-five minute app. I could pair that fucking Avatar two down to about thirty minutes. <laughs> get me in the editing room. Come on. Oh dog. I'll get brutal. Just be Nate Tiri. They call be me twenty-six the... minutes in Nate Tiri in the credits. We out. They call me the fat trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Movies all Nate Tiri, huh? Yeah. Just like crazy. You like... What? What about it? Nateri outtakes. Yep. Nateri bloopers. Nateri bloopers dot com is like yeah. killer. Killer stuff. Killer All stuff. Killer. All killing. <laughs> no filler. No filler. <laughs> the Nateri tapes. Nateri tapes. <laughs> the lost Nateri The lost Naterian tapes. tapes. The Nateri archives. The Naterians. <laughs> the Roma Telly. That's my fucking. <laughs> I'm doing a prequel. The Naterians. The Nateri. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Cameltonians again. I hate to <laughs> go back to my favorite science fiction pornographic opera, the Cameltonians, uh, and their belief system. Their beliefs are strong. Yeah. And their beliefs are um, sharp, cutting like scissors. The, the, the Cameltonians. The Cameltonians. Uh, I was reading a... Uh, 25 things you don't know about me. This is uh, Jenna Bush Hager. She is uh, on a show uh, with Hoda Kotb. It's the fourth hour of today. So the Today Show, they on for about three hours. Then the fourth hour is uh, Hoda and Jenna. Just, you know, Kinda drinking some Pinot. Chapping, just chopping, chopping it, it up. up. 
since since February 2019. They've just been pointing so out that So what is that, that like, 11 in the morning? <laughs> it's like, like, the news is done. We're done with all this bad so it's news. it's like, this is what I should be, like, wake. This is my show. This is your time. You this pour is my, I wake up tall to Tall glass this. of Pinot Gris. No. <laughs> I get tall glass. I wake up late. Yeah. 10 30 i get go that get my starbucks and yeah. i turn my girls on put your girls on and they, tell me because they're gonna tell me anything i really need to know about if anything something happens something crazy happened there's no way they're not gonna reference it but they're not about that at 11 but if not they're about starbucks Pino. vaping and pino uh she's 41 years old she has a twin sister barbara pierce bush um not identical both beautiful but not identical but not identical so she uh, said, uh, the best advice I've received was from my mom. She always told us when we were in high school and were worrying about high school size problems to save our worries for big things because eventually these big things will come. This is what she was told in high school, which is very interesting because uh, Laura... Laura Welch, before she was Laura Bush, before she married President George Bush, um, when she was in high school, she killed somebody. So that would be advice you would give to your teenage daughter in high school. Don't sweat, you know. Because you might kill somebody? I killed somebody. So I know you have a pimple and you don't want to go to school, but like I murdered somebody, honey. Honey, let me pull the covers up. Can you? On the night of November 6th, Jonathan, 1963. Close your eyes. Are you picturing it? Two days after her 17th birthday, Laura Welch ran a stop sign and struck another car, killing its driver. The victim was her close friend and classmate, Michael Dutton Douglas. By some accounts, Douglas had been Welch's boyfriend at one time, but she stated that she was... that. He was not her boyfriend at the time of the killing, but rather a very close friend. Welch and her passenger, both 17, were treated for minor injuries, according to the accident report released by the city of Midland in Texas in 2000. In response to an open records request, she was not charged in the incident. In 2000, uh, Laura Bush's spokesman said it was a very tragic accident that deeply affected the families and was very painful for all involved, including the community at large. In her book, Spoken from the Heart, Laura Bush said that the crash caused her to lose her faith for many, many years. She got it back. But there was several years where she, her faith was shaken. Shaken like that car she hit. When she killed that young boy. So, honey, again, <laughs> your, pim you? <laughs> your pimple. Again, yes, we are taking the class pictures today, but I killed somebody. My homie. My homie. My lover. My ex-lover. Before I homie. fucked your dad and made you and this beautiful non-lookalike sister, I killed a man that I used to, that I used to love. <laughs> Fuck. I fucked him, but then I killed him. So yes, that pimple is huge. I'm not gonna lie to you. I life changing. I'm not gonna. It's a life changing pimple. But we there's pre Dr. Sandra Lee. There will be a station called TLC, honey, Trust. in the future. There'll be a section called TLC where they will show you things that 20 years ago they wouldn't show medical students, but they show us now from the comforts of our own living room. Yes, that's something that you wouldn't even see in medical school, but now you watch it with Pinot Grigio. But I killed my lover. <laughs> so that pimple, again, I say to you, um, disregard the pimple I killed my lover. What? I, I'm trying to envision this town. This murder? And this stop sign. The, you, what, like I'm trying to one, envision what the cars stop, were, how fast was, they were going. It's 1963. They're probably late model 50s, like enormous, probably about a 3,000 pound automobile. She's listening to like some sort of like teeny bopper song blasting through she always she used to drive like this laura always like detroit leaning barreled through that fucking stop sign saw her lover made direct eye contact and was like i'm gonna fucking kill you dougie so again yes that pimple is enormous consumer reports but isn't that good what because you don't sweat the small i think stuff. that's a it's I think great it's sound advice. Sound advice. It's can it came from a true place of 
understanding. Murder. murder. A place of murder. <laughs> Is that the name of your autobiography? A place of murder? You know what? It was really <laughs> fucked up for me. Was it? What about Dougie's <laughs> fam? Crew. Crew, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I lost faith. I got it back. Trust. Tenfold. I love the, that dog. That dog's my top dog times 30. But there was a few months when I was like, you're not even up there, talk dog. You're not even the top dog anymore. <laughs> what? Lose faith. What does that mean? Cause... So at one point you have faith. In, let's say, a higher being, but something murdering your lover causes you to lose that faith, but then you get it back. Restored. Restored through prayer and yeah, time. Time and prayer. And no lawsuits or even filing. <laughs> book, and book deals. And book deals from the heart. <laughs> Killed from the heart. Consumer reports least wow. reliable automobile based on 17 different trouble areas from nu nuisances like squeaky brakes, broken interior trim, all the way to major problems such as uh, out of warranty transmission repairs, etc. Yeah. Uh, well, the 2022 Ford F-150 hybrid truck. There it is. I was very close to buying that. You were very close to buying what Consumer Reports, after looking at 1,000 different automobiles, deemed literally the most least reliable automobile on the road. Like super close to like buying Like talking it. to a guy named Jerry and laughing and like crunching numbers. Were you crunching numbers with Jerry? I could show you like the, the text, numbers being crunched. The crunch <laughs> numbers. Like, look at these like crunch not numbers. Kidding. Well, right yeah. before I bought the, I swapped out wagons. I'm sure he wanted to crunch those numbers. Like they're trying to anything, get these things out anything of here. to get these death traps out of here. How's your shitty truck? That's not a good sign for like the fact that in like three years, this entire state is going to be forced to drive hybrids. It, but but is like it the only model is the, is the, the least re reliable car, like judged by professionals. It's a scathing report. Well, I mean, they only looked at a few hundred brand new cars over the last few years, and they only said this is literally the worst one that you can buy. I wonder. Um, Thanks, Ford. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work, you old racist. I have to look into that. Keep it up. Uh, I was going to buy that. 327 Let, Let me know if you have one. Maybe somebody has one. They're like, Jonathan, crunch Definitely. those numbers. This is the best whip I've ever owned. Vroom, vroom, Tell vroom. me if you got that fucking power package. Oh, I can't wait to roll up to Tell somebody. me you got that heavy-duty power package. I can't package. wait to roll up to somebody in that heavy-duty power package, that HDPP, and be like, eh, did you read the report? Um, I, at Ford F-150 Hybrid, or what kind of a driver are you going to... you going to get a traditional Ford F-150 pickup truck driver? Or would you might get somebody uh, who would traditionally maybe not be driving in a Ford F-150 pickup truck because it's a hybrid? Well, I mean... What you, do you get? I, I've never owned one, and I was considering it. So maybe okay. that was enough to push me over the edge. Okay. I think the real reason... I'm just saying, if I rolled up to a traditional Ford I would F-150, say, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't start talking shit about anything out the window. With this, I'm not that scared. Am I right, or should I be wrong? No, you should be wrong. You, you're wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm still no, gonna get it's attacked. This, oh, yeah, yeah. It's still good old boys. Okay. It's actually the the they good old boy gooder? factor. It could be gooder. Well, because it the you, can, you know boy. you can run a house on the hybrids. You can. That's the only truck you can hook oh, up to a so house and full, like run. Right. I'm now. running up to a full militia member who's completely off the like, grid. Off grid. Asking him if he's read Consumer Reports, and he's yeah, like, he's like, boy, I'm gonna consume your I'm report. Don't <laughs> <laughs> gobble that in right up. So okay, thank you. Cause I was gonna get I was gonna roll out this yeah, week like and just cuck, start you thought it was a cuck truck. Yeah, cuck truck. Pickup truck. Hey, Pick what's up, up cuck. cuck truck? Consumer reports, huh? <laughs> Pickup cuck. Oh no, so that's a bad idea. Cause I could be dealing with the goodest old boy. The best oh, boy. Oh no, he fucked with the best boy. <laughs> he found the best boy. He off, fucked with Clarence. Fully off grid. The goodest old boy? The goodest off grid. Oh boy. yeah, he's completely off grid. He's only in Hollywood because he's like He's spray painting a movie studio, writing pedophile on Paramount. He's only just spray painting pedophile on Paramount's walls. That's the only reason why he's in Hollywood. See? You can't judge a fucking Ford F-150 hybrid pickup truck by its by cuck, it, trim. By its driver. By its cuck trim. Can't judge a cuck by its driver. Can't judge trim by its cuck hybrid. 
these are these are tales that you have to tell your you gotta this is kind of things this is good if good advice, good intel best advice good intel that i could give maybe to max <laughs> most to informed younger brother max Listen. never never trust the trim on a cuck hybrid <laughs> And they'll say, what the fuck are you talking about? I'll be like, just keep your mouth shut. That's all I'm saying. Keep your mouth shut. Dark side to wealth. This is how Americans feel about the idea that at some level of extreme wealth, money inevitably corrupts people. It's very heady for yeah, USA Today snapshots. About that. So this was, numbers were rounded just for the sake. Crunched. Crunched and rounded. Um, <laughs> so, so this is that no matter how... No matter what, that at some point, extreme wealth will corrupt you. Oh, God. Make you dirty, evil. 32% strongly agree. 38% somewhat agree. 14% aren't sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. 10% somewhat disagree. Oh, I disagree with that. 5% strongly. Strongly disagree with that statement. That they money say does no. not corrupt. You know what? It does the opposite. It uncorrupts. It uncorrupts. Do you understand? Do you understand money? <laughs> yeah, it uncorrupts. Yeah, it's uncorrupting. It's an uncorrupting force. Yeah. And the more given to one guy, the less corrupt. The less corrupt anything, the rising in the tides and the boats and such. You really want to consolidate all the wealth to just a few of the dudes. The homies. The best dudes. The best. The best guys. The ones that are the, the best older, dudes. The older ones. The older cool guys. Shorter, older ones. The big, the short kings, <laughs> the best ones. The ones that with the boot cut. You want to give them all? First, you want to check out the boot cut. How flare is You want to ass assess the flare. And the larger the, the di <laughs> diaphragm, it's not a, yeah, diorama. The diorama, diorama <laughs> on the flare, you want to put more money into those coffers. The more angry that you get when you hear them, the watch swish. them speak or talk, yeah. you want to give more money to that. That's the formula. The more pictures of their like nightstands, <laughs> you want to give that more money. More more cred and more money. It's amazing like how how uh how if you had money, how you how easy it would be to like I guess you have to give it away and that's what would be so easy about it. But like how um, beloved you could be uh, if if you well okay so I, let, let's just address maybe just for a second I think that there is you can if you can plot an individual's like wealth life like their their success and scale it, I think you can easily probably see the that drama and dialogue or or drama and 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 um story play out in a way where you could relate maybe to the ups and downs of that of like i didn't have anything then i had everything and then i came back down to earth and then i you know didn't. And, never well did. You, really nobody does people do right lose it and then get it back not lose it like lose the money that they become maybe like fucking power monging monger assholes and then like realize that you can't do that forever no 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 come on like have a redemption story where at one point they're like bad and then they are good no definitely not no like oh he used to be the fucking worst now he's the best no he's like the worst and then just worser he's the worstest old boy yeah then i guess <laughs> I could certainly see that from a regular person's standpoint that there is no way that if you are dealing with that type of wealth, the types of decisions that you are making in how to move that wealth around and create more of it, yeah, that there is no possible way that you would not come across to some large swath of people in this world as corrupt, no matter what you were doing. Whether it was, you know, Jeff Bezos or, you know, the dude at Patagonia flipping his company into a nonprofit so he didn't have to fucking pay taxes, claiming that it was, you know, in order to be able to put all that money to something else. But it also, you know, people would say that that sh is corrupt and illegal because that money should have been paid to the c government that supported the company that made all that money and all this shit. Anybody dealing with that type 
of money, money. is finding ways of like doing things and not having to pay for it that us would look at and be like, ah, oh, that's but uh, that's what you do when you have that much money because that's got to get more. That becomes it. the job. The job is maintaining that money and not getting not huge chunks of it taken off. No, you know, as it passes through adding the to, canals, the adding channels, to the canals. So, the goodest old boy. Who is the best, richest person? Who is the best? Who's done the dopest shit with the money throughout time? Like Bill Gates, maybe. But isn't that all like post dated? Has he done it? For didn't he? Well, I guess he did pay for like. Did he pay for the COVID vax? Didn't he pay for that? I think for some countries and vaccines. I don't uh, know. I'm just throwing that off. You know, I, I know that that's, that I know, has I know that that's a name that gets thrown around, and, and I know that there's a lot of his wealth that's supposed to go. But like he could take the money that he's supposedly giving to the world after he dies. He could give that money to people now and try to solve some like pressing issues now. And that's that does seem to be all these institutions that these people set up that that seem to mature later on down the road. And I don't quite know why we the don't have time for that. The, there's tell an immediacy. Them, we don't have time for that. I don't know if we have time for that. Hey, there's we maybe an immediacy time for that where okay, they're like then, no, 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 take like in a, in a few hundred years. I got you. I just wonder who might, who's like, who's done like legend, who's done like three two three three eight seven three five seven zero. Who's done like legend status shit with like wealth? George like, Clooney. When he broke off all his friends a million that bucks. Tequila. No. That you. That's the, not solving. Clooney. I mean, that's a cool. When ass- he invited all the bros over to the crib and then cracked open those briefcases. That's the craziest shit ever. <laughs> I mean, everybody like a million bucks. Bu- for, for his rider dies. Broke them all off. Probably a couple of guys in there were like, really him? Yeah, he, we, played, we played hoops. He was on my team like once on the Warner Brothers. Definitely lot. He was a couple a of fringers he hit that a, were like, he hit I a, cannot believe this He hit this a three in a pickup a game during ER and like, I had to break him off a mill because we won that game. What does this say? Could you read that to me? Does Momoa care about the planet or profits? What? Jason Momoa's new movie, Slumberland, uh, must have him dreaming if he believes canned water will help the planet. Can- might- canned water. I'm sorry. Did I say that? No, you did, but... Canned water will help the planet. He might make money off cans, but the planet will suffer. Visit moronicmomoa.com to learn why. Wow. Can you uh, debrief me? Yeah, I did. I visited that. Moronicmomoa.com. Well, That's turns the, out he's got a new company. Nick- new nickname. It's your new DJ name. Moronic Momoa. <laughs> work with me. Jason Moronic. He's, dune. he's good. He's good. He got in that dune. Go work there. Mana Nalu Water. It's in aluminum cans. No more single use plastic because that's what he's about. Mana, meaning the sacred spirit of life, and Nalu is a powerful wave that pushes across the ocean. But on moronicmomoa.com, it says, don't be fooled. This website, and I don't, you know, I don't know what advocacy group or nonprofit or who's behind this, they're saying that uh, aluminum cans aren't all they're cracked up to be. That plastic, although... It's bad with the microplastics. It can be recycled over and over, whereas aluminum can being a precious metal that he's getting from China because half the company is owned by the Ball Corporation from Colorado. That they're, Ball Jar Corporation? Yes. It's him and Ball teamed up for the Manu, Mana Nalu. So it's saying that this is actually infinitely worse for the environment, and he's just raking in that money. All his Hawaiian tribal tattoos, his weird little, his little, uh, the loin his tats. loins he wears showing off that butt and just screaming out at the heavens as the money is like raining down on him. We're going to have to get him. No, on man, that. I'm doing it for the environment. And then he turns the corner and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> you stupid mainland suckers. But I don't get fucking fooled. No, man. This is Hawaii, man. This is about sacred beauty. Is the camera off? <laughs> suckers. Mainland suckers. Howley suckers. Howley suckers. This guy's 
money could not have more money. There's no way that this dude is not being fed a line. Sound. Oh, you mean if he must he if he is mistaken about this, then he has been sold a bill of goods by someone else, ensuring him. So you say you're take he's off the hook. Jason am, Momoa is unaware of the environmental impact that his Mananalu metal cans are having on this planet. If in fact his Mananalu cans are, if this aluminum theory is Holds, true, is true. We don't know on moronicmomoa.com. If they told me. If all the aluminum they were sourcing from Iceland, I would be much it's more... Or from China. You know that. Yes. That's that well, is problematic. I don't know that. That's oh, what they told me. I'm Moronic Momoa. You. See? Is the camera off? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha fuckers. fuckers! You think we're mystical! Devils! And then the money is raining maybe it's down his, on him. He's just, maybe he's like coming back like the Hawaiian God's revenge on us oh, for on fucking us. taking... He, this is him's... It, it, this is the, they're gonna you know take what back it probably is <laughs> best looking huge celebrity snow job oh he's you think he's in on this up. come on bro come on oh my god you're gonna tell me that fucking ftx that like that matt damon that these celebs that they that, that, that they uh, we didn't know man it's just like fortune favors like people i guess are like it's uh crypto man just buy it get in on it i'm matty d what is that bad Oh, shit. NFTs? Oh, fuck. Did I sell them on Jimmy Fallon? Is that cool? Can we do that? Money, 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 money. the camera on? Is the camera on? I don't fucking care. Celebrity. These motherfuckers, man. How much did Matt Damon make off FTX? Dog. Did you get one of the biggest movie stars in the world to be your spokesman during a Super Bowl commercial? But did he lose a lot of money? He didn't lose a dollar. He didn't put money in that. He went to fucking Harvard. He's not an idiot. He's not investing in crypto. He took a $25 million check and he was like, is this in like U.S. currency that I'm going to place in like my checking account? They were like, yes. He's not like fucking sports players getting paid in crypto and they have like their contracts are worth negative money now. I got it in crypto because I'm super smart. I've played the last three years. I've paid $350,000 to play. I also can't play. I can't game. play anymore. I had a three-year career. I lost $375,000. But your contract was for $50 million. I put it all in crypto because I'm 21. Stupid American regular money. <laughs> Dummies. I don't even understand it. Oh, it's you don't like have to. I mean. That fucking geek who lost all that fucking money who's like in the Bahamas. It's like every magazine. I don't know if it's like Fortune magazine or Money magazine. It's like literally every person that ends up on the cover of one of these magazines is a complete fucking charlatan who is like facing prison time. So like when do these stupid fucking wealth magazines and like if it's fucking it's the WeWork dude or it's Elizabeth Holmes or it's a crypto fuck. It's like what are these magazines about? They're just well, about criminals. Yes. They're about money. But they're always cr about criminals. It's just the new it's a new breed of criminal. That are putting, applying pressure to the old guard and the way that they did crime, the old finance guard. Okay. So, I mean, the, the but th that is not the, the, the idea that these people somehow have better ideas just because their ideas aren't the old ideas okay. is just not true. I mean, the, it, there was, there were humongous issues with the way that this dude like thought it was okay to do business because they have no, they're not, I don't think they're, they're not really, they don't have, I don't, it doesn't, but when it you doesn't say the way people used to fleece, people used to fleece, they're still fleecing, but they fleeced in a way that was like, they just stole these, all of the people on the cover of all these magazines that are now facing prison time, they did, they fleeced in a way where they took something that's not a thing, it's a pet rock or it's vapor, and they said this is what it is, and it wasn't. It's 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 way yeah. more egregious. Well, it's crazier, and like it's such a bigger con to say like stealing money in an old fashioned way is just like oh you been people have been doing that like in a million different ways. This is like a crazier way to do that. I created this thing that does this. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. I have this thing and it does this. Well, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. That's all right. I'm a Bermuda. Find me. It's it's like 
fire festival shit on it's like yes that but, but basically but when but i'm in a newsstand i just go over to the money magazines and i'm just like there's, we'll be in jail still, we'll be in jail but that there's still right but there that doesn't mean that those people there's plenty of people that'll never go to jail that should be everyone should be in jail like it those it, it, and so yeah. like i don't but and no, there's no, I also just, those same people are still making money that the, they're still everyone should be in jail jason momoa should be in jail Jason Momoa should be in jail. I, that's what it says on my own site. M- more moronic Momoa. Even more com. moronic. Even more moronic. Mo- Momoa. It just says Momoa should be in prison. We got it. Let but me I reach thought, out to that, Lisa. Maybe she can put me in touch death, with Jason. That can, I thought that I thought cans were better than plastic. I think they are. But are because they? there's they're recyclable. I thought aluminum yeah. is recyclable, and I know yeah, that yeah, it yeah. creates pollution to recycle it. But I thought that there was new technology that minimized that. That's why Iceland put so much money into their aluminum factories. Okay. There. All right. What's my number? Three two three three eight seven three five seven zero. Okay. The NFL has partnered with several college football like teams that. to have their players outfitted in sensor-designed mouth guards. These custom pieces will analyze data to determine the amount of the amount and severity of head impact on the players. They are made and designed by Invisalign. Oh, I want that. A little pressure gauge to I make sure to how much that. brain damage you're getting. Well, I'll tell you what you're getting. You're getting all of Hardcore it. brain damage. Oh, you you guys are going to... I'll fund the study for you. Helmet oh, you, to helmet brain you damage. You play? Oh, you done fucked. I'm going to save you a little bit of money. Do you play? Then you done fucked. I'll put that right in, fix these fucking teeth. Cause you can get jostled in real life too. You can get jostled in a Starbucks. You don't know if that's like what kind of fucking, that could be a low grade concussion in a Starbucks when there's 30 fucking drinks and someone bodies you to get to theirs. And you're just trying to save your you're, yeah, Frappuccino. Yeah, so you just take invi- it on the chin. So you take it like in your Invisalign was like, Oh, you just got like, Oh, you just took like, did you make the catch? 50 pound yeah. blow. Like I hope you scored. Did you score? Uh, I you got need the to coffee. sit the next oh, three plays playing? out. Oh yeah, you got to get out of the game. I'm in a Starbucks in fucking Larchmont. You need uh, to. Sorry, Invisalign. Don't go to sleep. The data. Don't sleep tonight. tonight. Bye. Good night. We'll check in with Invisalign. you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's bad news. Hey, uh, they took like a 500 brains, and then they looked at like 500 of them, and like all 500 were fucked up. Is that your study? They already did it. They already did the study. They took all the brains and then they like, they open them up like fucking fillet them. They just like, you see them in there? Whew. They can take one brain. They can carve that up like fucking. A million brains. Day, yeah, a million brains day after Thanksgiving. Like, it's like fucking Paul Sorvino doing fucking garlic and Goodfellas. They're just like shaving the CTE off each level. Yeah, all the brains are fucked. Invisalign? Who did that study? Yeah. But I need that because like, I want to fucking know. Oh, you need. I, just, I thought you meant you need that. I need the that head to help with the helmet impact I need on that impact. In that game. Yeah. On Amazon. Soccer players, too. And I, I like to take my uh, 12 year old daughter and I tell her, you head that ball and that fucking head it in. Head it. So you want me when the ball is like sailing towards me? I could do a bicycle kick. Head it. In the opposite direction. In the counter, opposite direction. Counter, and- counter the ball to the back of the net or die. Or you're grounded. All right? No Harry Styles concert next weekend unless you put it in the back of the net. With your head. With your head. <laughs> but the ball, dad. I mean, it's Suzanne kicked it. She, she kicked it from so far away. And then take it opposite. Spin the circumference, the physics of it, in the opposite direction. With, with your, your own head. With your face. <laughs> or no Harry I'll tell Styles. you, man. I'll tell you, we don't. we just doing some shit. Well, you take it all real serious, too. Because if, if she don't... How's she going to get a scholarship? She can't. She can't. She's too stupid. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry the camera's baby. on? Yep. Oh, my sorry, bad. Baby. I'm just saying, baby, you I love you. I, mean. I love you. You're kind of dumb. You know what I mean. If she don't put the ball in the back of the pocket, <laughs> and if she don't play soccer, and then what? She can play professional women's soccer? Oh, fuck. I didn't think about that part. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? Ah, uh, cool! They, like one twenty. What's the? What did you, you yeah. clear last year? Yeah, <laughs> eighty. Grand. I made base salary. I made thirty-eight grand. <laughs> How'd you get to the games? We take a train. I it's worked, like the, the I work, yeah, like I work twenty-five years. I work at like Bloomies in the off season. What's it like? Nineteen twenty? Like no, it's all good. You better put that fucking ball in the back of the fucking. But dad, the she kicked it from like a hundred. 
Put the ball in the back of the fucking net. Did you hear me? Counter it. Counter it. Capri Suns, everybody? Um, munchkins. I guess get a big thing of munchkins and Capri Suns. Give them to the kids. Tell them to get out there. Yeah, a little Dunkin' Donuts, all munchkins. I get a big old thing of munchkins. Throw them at the kids with some Capri Suns and say, listen, I'm not about Wait, that. Munchkins are like donut holes yeah, from, from, my... from Dunkin'? From Dunkin'. This is what I'm about. I coach the team. Girls, listen, it's about having fun. I'm a different. I'm a different breed of coach, you know. I don't. Uh, there's not many like me out there, because for me it's about fun. It's not about that. Hey, we lost eight nothing. So what? So what? So what? Do we have fun? Then we won. No, we didn't. Okay, oh, but we did. Then we then we won. And then the parents are all like, "I'm gonna fucking we murder had fun, this hippie." Then we won. Hey, if we had fun, then we won. Let's chant it at your parents. <laughs> chant it at your chant it at your parents. Talk about ultra competitive. Talk about parents. college scholarships. <laughs> if we had fun, then we won. We had fun, then we won. Chant it at your parents because they look like they're gonna fuck me up. <laughs> Harper's Index. Projected portion of the global population that will be myopic by 2050. Half. Oh. I don't know what that means. It means I can't see far. I can't see you. I can only see up close. Myopic. I'm nearsighted. Oh, that's, I am actually nearsighted. You are? Yeah. You're, you are myopic. Yeah. Uh... I, I get, I have a hard time understanding. Nearsighted meaning that you can see near. You can only see, what would you say? Do you have a, a rough estimate of where things start to get blurry? Like six feet, 10 feet? Um, it's either three feet. six Kevin Hart's or three rocks. Depends you on, tell me. <laughs> it depends on where I'm at. I play to the crowd. Now, when you put on your readers, you put on readers. You wear readers? No, I will not do that anymore. I, I'm. I, you don't wear readers I, anymore. It's too embarrassing to say it. Have them. I, I should throw them away. So you don't really use them. Oh, I never use them. But you have regular glasses. I have glasses, eye glasses, prescription, prescription eye glasses that allow me to see far away. And when those are on, do those compromise the 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 near your nearsighted your natural? Let's say I was going to read the newspaper. You would take. I would them just off. take them off. That's the problem, though. I prefer to wear my contacts so I can see far. See, so you leave see a celebrity in, far away. So you strain your eyes so reading close. It, it's it's so be it's much more I comfortable. Is the idea that you're supposed to use readers if you're going to keep your contacts in? Um, no, because I, I that doesn't counter it. I can I can With I can read. That's like let's say you had to read a, a pill bottle or something like some fine print. You would put that on. So. What's our population? Eight billion. It's over that now. Yeah, that's right. Because I mean, it's growing. Like it could be at eight and a half. It could be. Is it could be close to nine billion in these last couple of weeks? So they're saying four billion people can't see a celebrity like by coming towards them by twenty fifty. Until that celebrity's like until a celebrity is like stepping case. on their feet. Like move it. I said. I said. Do you know, know who I am? <laughs> Look at me. I see. I see now. Um, I see. I'm see, so I'm sorry. sorry. You were so far away. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so myopic. I'm so stupid. John Stamos, forgive um, me. John Stamos, forgive me. So that's a terrible problem to live in a society where four billion people can't see a celebrity twenty five feet away. That's going to cause like humongous problems culturally, socially. I think. And why do we know why this is happening? Is this, huh? Why is it happening? Is the question. Well, they think. Uh, is it because of? Is as a country we've become obs we just become obsessed with people. Oh, I'm sorry. Why, why, oh, you mean celebrity? celebrity. I thought I'm you sorry. meant my bad. My bad. My bad. Where the stars come down. Um, I don't know why. Is it because of all this shit? Maybe because we're all oh, uh, so screens. Maybe game. that's it. You're just up on it. Because everyone wants their fucking close up. Because everyone wants their close, everyone's ready for their close-ups. Are close we burning up. our fucking eyes out just from looking from at all close this close-ups. I bet that's what it is. <laughs> from extreme close-ups? Extreme close-ups. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> that's their problem. These filmmakers. Um, I've got something here. Yes, sir. This is a, a, 
poem. It was written in the decade, I guess they called it the 90s. What's that? It's a vape pen that I'm hiding behind my microphone. I hear it. No. I can't see it. What does that do? What is that installed with? Some sort of vaporware? Uh, that is installed with uh, some type of vaporware. What is, in, is there a liquid in there? Is that what the vapor would be? There's a... Is it would be called a liquid. Could I call it that? Or it's not a liquid. There is no liquid contained in that thin apparatus. It's not liquid. Okay, what is it? It's thick. It's much thicker than liquid. The viscosity is much thicker than a liquid. Yes. And what is in it? Is it some sort of an elixir? It is a... <coughs> what does they call it? Something juice. But this is a, a pure... This is a pure cannabis cold extract. Hmm. Uh, Sub-zero extract. Sub-zero cannabis extract. I'm not saying that correct, but that is what it is. Zero additives, 99% pure pure THC and terpenes. and Uh, Real terps? Serious terps. Can you taste the terps? You can. That should be the commercial. Uh, it's cold fire. It's the best. Is that cold fire? And you say, why, yes, it is. And then I'd say to you, can you taste the terps? And then what, what do you do? You just smile. you damn right you nope. can. No, oh. just smile. One more time. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, is that a uh, cold fire? Oh, it is. Can you taste the terps? Yep. The answer is yes. Babylon's doom. Oh, no. Crescent moon, time to move soon. (coughs) Now is the time for Babylon's doom. If I and I were given the chance, love and righteousness, righteousness, we would enhance. Come and revolt in a new song and dance. We will only grow more in strength. For jaw provider, we go to any length. Oh, give I the power to push on true. It's T R U E. Okay. Push on true. Okay, my said it right. Okay. <laughs> Push on true. Don't let them white devils. Oh, I threw the white. Oh, uh, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them white devils ever hypnotize you with their works evil, but their plan is feeble. And with the love of Ja people, we can make it all equal. All right. Holy shit. I'm a, I should have read I might this be at standing like, by these Jamaica's lyrics. like 60th anniversary. I should have read this on the stage. Babylon's doom! And the crowd like, would have just been like... Ja Laureate. Fuck, man. Down with the queen. We, we, Ross we Laureate. Burn your, like, UK citizen papers on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. That's a good one. I mean, that needs to be... Uh, that has to be... That's more of a performative. You can't even... That's not a, a cure town, a call and response. This needs to be broadcast. I like your weird patois that you do. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's a strange, but 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 hypnotizing. But, but earnest. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, you know, it's uh, no Chet Hanks, but wow. it's it's its own it's its own curious kind of character to uh, it. I've got a little something here. I meant to get to on the wait, uh, 20, last episode. Twenty months, Nevada. We just checked. We checked. We're at eight billion and a few. And Nevada hit a billion dollars for the 20th straight month. Man, who's in on that? I bet Momoa's getting a fucking taste of that. Yeah, for sure. Go to my website, (laughs) VegasTasteMomoa.com. Get the real skinny on that. Did you hear the news? Yeah, I heard. It's fucking crazy, man. Aquaman. He's got his fucking. He's got his hands in that. He's got his hands in that Vegas money. Hand. That's why Lisa left him. Of course, she's, she's about th- righteousness she's... and freedom, and peace, not about like lies. Oh, okay. So I have a husband, who's a gorgeous hunk that I love to be with, who has sold me on a bill of goods of being a man of the people. Uh, the underdog, the cloth, the, the loin cloth, cloth. <laughs> the loin cloth, the volcano. But in actuality, if you go to Seth's website, Vegas fleece, <laughs> m- 
manicmomoa.com. Best boy. <laughs> best boy. Bestestboy.org. <laughs> oh, my God. Scientists and government representatives meeting at a conference in France voted to scrap leap to scrap leap seconds by 2035 the organization responsible for global timekeeping said scrap meaning get rid of do away with leap seconds no existed <sighs> similar to leap years leap seconds have been periodically added to clocks over the last half century to make up for the difference between exact atomic time and earth's slower rotation now, while leap seconds pass by unnoticed for most people, they can cause problems for a range of systems that require an exact and uninterrupted flow of time, such as satellite navigation, software, telecommunication, uh, trade, and even space travel. Yep. It has caused a headache for the International Bureau of Weights and Measures, BIPM, which is responsible for Coordinated Universal Time, UTC. That is the internationally agreed upon standard by which the world sets its clocks. All of us, collectively. Now, a resolution to stop adding leap seconds by 2035 was passed by BIPM's 59 member states uh, and other parties. Are they um, playing with fire? Excuse me. Passed by the BIPM's 59 member states and other parties at the General Conference on Weights and Measures. It's a fucking... Dopest name ever. I like that. The General Conference on Weights and Measures. Like that being like, I have to attend this thing every year called what is if if it had to be something, that might be the coolest title That's you could it. have to fire off. Probably in reality, not the coolest, but in name, certainly. This is held roughly every four years at the Versailles Palace west of Paris. Did I say that right? I think so. The head of BIPM's time department, Patricia Tavella, uh, told AFP uh, that the historic decision, quote unquote, would allow a continuous flow of seconds without the discontinuities, discontinuities currently caused by irregular leap seconds. The change will be effective by or before 2035, she said via email. Seconds were long measured by astronomers analyzing the Earth's rotation. However, the advent of atomic clocks, which use the frequency of atoms as their tick-tock mechanism, ushered in a far more precise era of timekeeping. But Earth's slightly slower rotation means that the two times are out of sync. Mm. To bridge that gap, leap seconds were introduced in 1972. 27 of them have been added at irregular intervals since then, the last being in 2016. Mm, think about it. So they're playing with fire is what they're doing. They better watch but themselves. Do, but do they know how many more will be added between now and when they're phased out? In 2035? Yeah. Because you mean if, like, are they going to do... Well, because they've what been. If they start they're doing saying them fucking every few months. They need to. They need to chill. Is what they need to do. Maybe they're going to get rid of them by like adding a shitload of them, like six or seven seconds. <laughs> like whoa, that's when the planes will go down. That will be that fateful day. Oh man, they added six seconds all at once. Everything metal. All the. All the Everything cans. metal fell out of the sky all, all the, at once, all the, and all the all the aluminum, all the aluminum cans, all the Momoa cans at the same time top, floated up into the sky. Floated to the sky, and all the planes came down. Like Y two K, try to get me on a plane. You were trying to get me to fly to fucking Brussels on Y two K at midnight. Are you out of your mind? That whole fucking system's gonna go down. It's all zeros and ones, baby. Whew, you saw what happened. Did I? Where? Uh, well, they said they had a, they had a big. The big plan. They thought it was gonna. They thought it was gonna do some shit. That like Amtrak trains were just gonna like, just like shoot off into like weird places in Pennsylvania. I don't think a single fucking thing happened, right? No. But didn't they tell us it was enough for me to flee to Abiquiu, New Mexico? Uh, not enough for me to though. Hmm. So I wonder what the difference between you and I was at that point. You know what it is? It was like kind of pre. Uh, I think you. That's were, where I was really on the forums back then. You in were the late nineties. That is also probably it as well. Yeah, you know. So I was susceptible to that. You know, on the flip side of that, 
when 2012 went down, I was like buying shotguns and watching yeah. Terrence McKenna videos about totally. about Time Wave Zero and shit. And yeah. you were like, you're being a fucking kook. Yeah, and I was just like putting up pictures of Jake Gyllenhaal on my you're fucking like, vision board. Like, shut up! Like you're nothing. This you're nothing so dumb. Happen. Like just go and see this movie with me. It's yeah, like he it's like flies so like a helicopter stupid. like through like, like the mall. Flies it into like the pyramids or like, fucking. It's fine. Um, Machu Picchu. Don't worry about it. My name. But that's what the drugs will do. That's what they'll do. They fucking get in your brain. Don't blame the drugs. Uh, and then that's what we do as people. Well, I think it's... it's With it, a little help. They, they help. They but, help. But the the person that finds those things at those times... No, the, they don't the, need drugs. These people in fucking finding this shit, they don't need no drugs. They're there on their own. Drugs help, though. Oh, they don't hurt. Well, Hell no. hold on. Wait, well, they, I mean, they do hurt, they, but they, they don't kill. always hurt. They, they kill, kill the fuck out But they you. don't hurt. You know what I mean? You, that makes sense, right? They're <laughs> deadly killers, but they're good. But they're great. And Stuff. they're help. <laughs> don't hurt. Help. Yeah. They don't hurt you. <laughs> Honey, learn it by watching you. I, they're the worst things ever. They've destroyed more lives than religion. But it's also wicked good for you and healthy, and you should do it. But again, remember, All the time. has killed more people than religion. Understood? Understood? Uh, my name is Jonathan. This is Seth. This is episode nine hundred and fifty-six. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, what else? Uh, eight 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 four two two three five seven. Um, you can want to talk about time. We are. What is it? Listen, I, as you know, from the last few episodes, you know, we've taken a little bit of time off between episodes. There's been a, a lull in putting up video episodes and now a lull in audio episodes. Obviously, I've been updating you guys on the show a little bit, updating you uh, socially. There's just been a, a lot going on. Uh, due to the way in which all this is going on, you know, I will I will be, like I said, uh, making audios still a priority, even if uh, videos continue to stay backed up. Please allow... Uh, just us to do do things that way for right now it's just been it's just been a lot going on in in my life and i'm the one person compiling that footage at the moment and editing it and getting it out so it's just going to take how long it takes so um but but know that that is in part because this has just been the craziest uh month and change uh Really, in, 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 in as as long as I can remember, really. Uh, so, What about that solstice? We Would ride you, again. Don't we ride again? I believe so. so we, don't we re-ride? I will, get, I will get this stuff up. I'll get the videos up. I'll do it all. I will get the audio up as soon as I can, and the videos just sit tight. Hopefully, the people that care about them or care about them enough to either listen to the shows first and then watch them afterwards or can hold out... Uh, and, and and bear with us. I just uh, it is a um, a temporary backup, and uh, I'll get I'll get back up to speed. But also, we, you can go to our in, in order to watch these videos. If you're just listening, the videos I'm talking about, the only place you can really watch them up to date or or current ones is by pledging to the show on Patreon. If you haven't done that, please do that. Uh, uh, five bucks a month gets you access to hundreds of our earlier episodes episodes and all of the videoed episodes that we do here um and lets us ride it allows us to ride again <laughs> when, when we also, re-ride when you know we re- we're about when to we re-ride. mount when we mount up when we mount up you know it allows us the regulators the, the, the 21st the steps get your necessary. fucking layers out because it's going to get cold In but that's when mount. we re-rack and re-ride <laughs> So come back. Hydrated. 888-842-2357. I want to say stay hydrated, but I don't know if you should be doing it with Mananalu. I don't know yet. We're going. We're going to do a deeper dive. We're if I can get Jason websites. Momoa to talk to us, I will. I want make to, an exception to. If he, uh, yeah, dude, I will do. He pledged to me. I will his honesty. Oh, I thought you meant on page. <laughs> no, if he pledged just five. The eight. Are if he oh, can I, look me in the eye, and say say to me, man to man. This is better for the environment than a single-use plastic bottle. Then I will support Mr. Momoa in his mana. But would you water. allow him time on this show to to say that? I would. A brief amount of time to speak to our audience directly. Directly. Unfettered. Unfettered access. 
to the Yadi 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 community. <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to, to truth. I want social. him to counteract to what the center address? that the Center for Organizational Research and Education has blatantly claimed on the World Wide Web. I need to know. This is not just on the World Wide Web. This is in printed periodical. Is this the Los Angeles Times? This is the USA Today. That is the nation's that newspaper. Is an, that is a full page. Eight 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 four two two. Has he responded to this? Three two three three eight seven. Has he responded to this? Three eight seven three five seven zero. Has he responded to this? He may. He may. He may yet. Because it would be bold of him. He should to just try to brush this under the sand, if you will. Well, if I can. Sp- I would Momoa believe, speak. I would say that it's an opportunity. Hopefully, if what these people are saying is untrue, I would it is like an opportunity to shed some light the on straight. this, on this, on this uh, subject because it's obviously something that even as pseudo environmental people trying to do the right thing, we don't know the answer to. He might so. make money off cans, which we know he is. Yep. His cans, but the his planet, fucking pecs, the planet those will pectorals. suffer. Is that worth it for the planet to suffer, Mother Earth? Jason, Jason, you have a platform right here, a home, a home, a safe place, a safe place that I do to speak truth to power. Eight 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 four two two three five seven seatbelts. Seatbelts.